and welcome to another Dr. Scovey workshop. We've got some great things to, to cover today. We've got some farm updates, some snow updates. We're going to go over the, the character designs of both Dr. Scovey and of Lizzie. These are great. These are Susie the Silky's been working on those and um, we're going to show them and talk about them and then we're going to finally just go over where the the app the web app is the progress that we've made on that so oh and the the theme song <laughs> that we that we had so we'll tell you some more about that and share that with you yep. all right the first thing that i want to talk about i kind of want to get so last week the feedback from a lot of a lot of um, a lot of you <laughs> and my wife was like didn't really understand what this whole chart was about. So I'm going to try to even explain it as if you're you don't see my screen. So <laughs> along the bottom we have months, and this chart overall. Um, well, so I'll, <laughs> let me just back up again. So let's start with what this chart is. A representation of it's a representation of historical current and historical snowfall and because you don't really because some snow is like dense and others fluffy this has been cal uh, um, normalized so that it's the rainfall the, the rain equivalent as if there was just a whole bunch of rain up in the mountains ready to melt like the storage the rain storage that's in the mountains <clears throat> along the bottom we have months starting in about october and a lot and up and down it goes from zero to <clears throat> to uh, 25 30 inches of rainwater equivalent the black line that we see that starts out in november and just pretty much goes at a 45 degree angle up to where we are at the end of March. That black line represents this year, this current snowf snowfall. The, the bottom, the shaded area that goes from red, yellow, green, blue, purple, that is the min max and the, uh, so, the minimum that we've had is the red line. That's like been the worst year. The best years is that purple, that big purple mountain. And then the green line, that's kind of the, the average that we've got. <clears throat> and this tiny, tiny on April 3rd, that is the um, kind of where typically the snowpack peaks. So it typically starts to go down from there historically. The this year we're already sitting at 28 inches of rain water equivalent of like snow water equivalent, I guess is what they call it. I say rain, but because this gives you the better visual. So they're basically saying that if you were to like put that much water in like a flask or like measure I'm just imagining one of those science tubes yes it would be like one inch two inch and so for this it would have to be like a 30 inch flask to be a... yes to to hold if you took if you took a chunk of that snow and melted it down and it's like coming on like 60 feet in some areas this Amazing. snowfall but you take and melt that all down and you end up with 30 inches of water no. Okay. So, so it's never been that much before because it's the never. line is already higher than yes. the late other yes. max. Set. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's never been this high. The peak was reached back in April 13th, uh, 26 inches, and that was I can on this side here I can bring up the the um so that was back in 1983. Okay. Forty years ago is when we had um, the, 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 the record and we have just blown past that record. And I look at this chart and I'm part of me does like wonder, does it ever go down? I don't know. 
I don't yeah. know if we ever go down from here. Because I, I <laughs> looking at like past years and all the equivalents, it feels like it looks like it's not at its peak yet. That no, I don't think it's at its peak. Yeah, because, because apparently, as you said, the peak is at April. Typically, 6th. it's April third. April third. So that's still a week. Well, three days away. So and and this and this in 1983, <laughs> the peak was the peak was was in like April, okay. the first part of April. But then it just. April was really, really um, uh, has a lot of snow, and then in May it stopped, it warmed up, and it all came rushing down the mountain. That's what we'd like to avoid. This is like the the worst case scenario. And if you look in Utah and you search Utah 1983, you're going to find a lot of flooding. A lot of flooding that year. So because it was a basically a cliff drop off, it caused a flood. Like it, the yeah. charts cliffed. Drop-off. Yes, yes, yeah. We, I mean, so we so lost the snowpack irradial. dropped that much uh, water. Mm. So like ideally, like if if things start to taper off and heat up right now, that would be great. I would like that. And then it's no big deal if we get this little two inches. Because, I mean, you look at even um, 84, this year we didn't, I mean, it was the next year. It still had some some significant drops, but I think it was a little bit, uh, there wasn't as much flooding that year. Okay. And so we do have these big drop-offs, but one problem is the ground is like really saturated. A good thing, a lot of the reservoirs, hey, are like, let's take on this extra capacity. It's so, kind of been a little bit more dry lately. So yeah. hopefully that kind of balances it out. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope so. I hope so. And, but it's, it's been insane. It's like you look at every one of these days, shovel, 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 yeah. shovel. And do you know what caused this much snow? Well, I, I know like there's just been like, like wave after wave coming from, the Pacific Ocean, and it just has been hammering California, and then and then we get it, and then it it's kind of feels like it. Then kind of like you've got some warm air air, air coming in from Florida and from the the um, south that ends up pushing it up to, back towards Canada. Interesting, and and. So so well, it's been a mess. I mean, there's a lot it's of... it's super weird because I feel like last year was one on that lower end. There was almost no snow or maybe even... Oh, yeah. Last ago, year l- last year was almost nothing. If we look at if we look at last year... Yikes. See, it's at the bottom of the chart. <laughs> last year was like... Uh, I don't... I feel like I shoveled like... two days that last exactly. year. Exactly. Exactly. So it's... It yeah, I'm just wondering why there's such a big difference between just one year. Like, what happened? Is there like a tectonic <sighs> plate that just like sunk and now caused all this water? Puddles, in the puddles got a credit card. <laughs> that was what it was. It was puddles. puddles. Yikes. So, so an update. Let me quickly give you an update on chocolate and the buff duck. So the buff duck is doing really, really well. Um, her eyes have all cleared up and I'm keeping her in with chocolate because chocolate has one of her eyes is perfectly great, but then the other, I think she really scraped it and it's just, I'm just waiting for that to, to heal and the infection to go down. It is, it is reducing and reducing slowly, but I'm just gonna keep them together because chocolate is actually happier having a friend. Um, in with her in the barn. They 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 snuggle up together and they're really cute. It's cold whatever. in the barn, so I'd do that too. <laughs> yeah, not for a duck. It's not cold for a duck. They're probably like, oh. <laughs> it's like really hot. <laughs> but I'm not. Chocolate could go out to the pond, but my worry is that she'd just that her eye wouldn't heal up and it would get so it's like you might as well give a little bit more rest i'm just gonna let that eye this like she she might lose sight in that one eye but she's got another eye that looks really good so it'll be um 
so she'll do fine. She'll be able to survive just great on the pond. That'll be good. It is. It is. Um, it's good. I'm glad to see to see that. All right, let's go over Dr. Scovey's character. So this is kind of like the costume design that we're thinking of. Yeah, thinking this is today. this is the costume design. There's lots of elements in making a character. You got to give him personality, but then you guys got to give him a look. And I actually saw a YouTube video just the other day where they're talking about like yeah. one of the things in animation that they do a lot to exaggerate a character and almost give him a feel is like that's where they'll have exaggerated body parts is almost to help illustrate their personality. So like, mm. but we can't do that as much. It's, so it's almost more in the costume design they have to that illustrate the personality. It. Yep, yep. So these are these are some concepts for Doctor Scovey. So I I love the, the there's this particular dress with those wings. I like that style quite a bit. I'm I'm loving how how that goes. I think we could pull it off. Um, personality wise, I wonder. I do think that. Um, I love the red glasses. So red, white, brown. This palette is perfect. And this skirt is amazing. So maybe you take this skirt with um, in the summer. The, the And maybe I should describe some of these for you a little bit. Because maybe somebody's listening to this rather than seeing the video. There you go. All right. I like it. Do you think so? I, I would. Think you would. You would. I'd so the driving. first design that we've got is Dr. Scovey, nice dramatic red glasses, um, some short white hair with a black, um, what do you call that, a barrette in, in her hair to represent some of the character, the, the, the little black dot that the the black so scovey you look at her hair she's definitely got it's very white with this black poof on the front a uh oh, this jacket the jacket um it has like a lab coat with tails very interesting i like that and some nice pens and a nice red turtleneck with tan pants and High laced boots, ready to stomp in the mud. <laughs> and then the second one is Doctor Scovey with maybe not so much dramatic glasses, but a little bit more stylish because the red rim goes around the bottom with an open top, and then uh, adorning her neck would be this beautiful red laced necklace. Not laced. It could be beads. I'm thinking it's probably like red beads or something. Um, but that. it's but it's fairly dramatic. Uh, ends up thin around the sides, but then pointed in the middle, um, just below the chin. And the 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 beautiful characters that we have here are these sleeves. These are very unique sleeves where. They're uh, open, poofy, and they extend past the elbow to uh, look to give the uh, impression of wings. And then the back of the dress um, is low cut, and the front is a high cut dress just at the knees. And so that it, that also then ex, um, gives the impression of a ducktail. It's very, very beautiful. And then uh, stockings. Uh, what would you call those? Like hatched or <laughs> no, like really. like what, what are the 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 leggies with patterns um, for uh, for the scales? There we go. I should just read <laughs> the, uh, the, the uh, It has some Susie's. form of name, but I forgot. No. Yeah, it was like a, a fishnet. Fishnet, that's what. Um, there you go. That's what I was. And there, Pleco just um, saved me 
with some some pretty just simple boots or shoes, non high heels, and and all these shoes are non high heels, probably for the best because that's kind of just a lot easier to spend the day in, I think, for yeah. a performer, for an actor. Also, like fl ducks have flat feet, so it's like that's very true. Very good. Point. I've never seen a duck walking around on their high heels. <laughs> very good point. <laughs> So perfect. The the third one we have, very similar ha hair to the to the first short with some black barrettes. But now this we've got a, a high turtleneck sweater with sleeves that extend all the way to the wrists. And the main feature here is this beautiful, gorgeous skirt that starts out in this kind of purplish red color and then transitions into a red and then towards the knees it starts to mimic uh, Dr. Scobie's unique beak where she's got kind of an orange tan and this light pink tip and those make their way around um, the dress almost kind of like a tie-dye fashion I, I think we could probably pull that off using tie-dye if we got really good at it so, that so would be hard you may or you think what what would you how would you think you each should we would how would I pull that? that off because i think we should i think we should you go to there's a lot there's places that do custom printing custom printing on on, on, a, on, a, on material on material and then just sew that together yeah that's how i would do that's but. how you would do it would you use spray paint we could spray paint it right or like a uh spray painting you cloth is it. really annoying Dyeing would work. We could. We. I, well, this is what I'm thinking. You tie dye. You tie dye the. Um, you just take the, the 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 skirt, and maybe not. You're not tie dyeing and making big knots and nodules in the tie in it, but you almost take the skirt, stretch it out flat, and well, just kind of tie it together. And then you've got your different purple, and you you um yeah. get the base layer possibly the first thing we do the 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 tips though the white because you can't you can't do a dark color and then expect to lighten it with a white you're gonna have to avoid getting any of the other colors on those i just know i've done tie-dyeing and i don't like it <laughs> it also would end up having a very tie-dye look so if you want the tie-dye look only uh, de kind of depending on how you scrunch it up Okay. That's how you kind of scrunch it, because they they'll like scrunch, twist, band, and yeah. do and do these weird nodule and like like yeah. I'm not saying like and, that part is tight. Would, and then it like ends up and you open it up and it's like stars up here. Yeah. So, so you can soak the fabric in soda ash solution and then spray dye on it. Um, I went for school for fashion and textures. There we go. There we got to write that down. You got to write that down. Thank I you. I do Moss because, Badger. as I said, I have no so idea. So soak how the fabric off. in soda ash solution and then just spray it, like spray paint. I imagine. So we could be. It's not a spray it. paint. I'm sure it's its own. Um, they make of. spray foam um, uh, fabric paint. Yeah, so it's not. It's fabric spray paint, not actual. You know, I'm not going to go to the hardware store to get the paint that I'm going to spray on this. That's what I'm saying. We just we need to just go shopping, like find this perfect dress on Alibaba or something, <laughs> on AliExpress. Alibaba is that what it's, it's AliExpress? <laughs> Alibaba. Yeah. <laughs> so this is great. Yeah, if we could find it. That would be great if we could find the perfect thing, but I, I, I think like uh, the this the the skirt with those wings, we could accomplish that. That seems like from a sewing perspective, fairly easy, and it's just a wire or or something in there to hold those open, to hold the the, the sleeves open. So maybe that's the first one we do, but I kind of this first one, the third one, the last one that we have. Just so you know, um, our faces are covering it up. Okay. So how do I... Um, 
What I'll I would do is off. zoom in. I'm just going to the, the problem. So if I do yeah. zoom in, if yeah. I zoom in, I can, yeah. I can go there and then, yeah, we could, we could. So do that's that. what I would do if I was. That's how you would do it. Okay. Because he likes to see his face. <laughs> Tim wants yeah. to see his face. <laughs> These glasses might be perfect. I we could probably find some glasses like that. Big, oh, giant, red. Of course. Um, what do they call them? Bottle glasses? Yeah, I'm sure that if you search bottle glasses, <laughs> that's it. That's it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So back wing, bat wing sleeves. I've never. I don't know exactly. I kind of get the idea. That maybe they're, they're just a lot more material there. So this is the talking about the the top. A V V cut, um, like it's loose like, fitting like shirt, those ones like a D. To kind of okay. give the wing. Okay, Tim, Tim's like, maybe I should. <laughs> Okay, bat wing. That's perfect. We could probably just buy one yeah, of those. Yeah, you can just buy a bat It looks wing like we've got white. those. Yeah, that's easy. So, sorry, we don't have Tim's. We can't show you. It feels show you the in, fabric. This one might be the easiest one. It's kind of like if you were... Uh, to just pull off. Because then the long skirt long. is just a red to red on the... Black belt with a red top down to a tan bottom. Very... Probably pretty easy. And then the shoes, yeah, we could probably get those um, skater shoes. She's got some tan skater shoes with uh, the socks. What are the socks with the red? There's got to be like a name for this kind of sock. I'm right. trying to think I, of what it is. I always think of them like sport socks. Sport basketball socks. Basketball socks. Not basketball. Yeah, basketball. Baseball. 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 Yes. So... Yeah. Perfect. So that is, I, I mean, I think one of these, we'll just, I think we're just going to kind of implement. She could change her outfit all them. the time, just like we could. seasonal. This is the four seasons. You have your summer, your winter, your autumn and spring. That's true. That's true. And when you're going like out on an adventure, mm -hmm. when you're going up into the mountains, that would yep. be good. So I don't know which one we do first. What, what one do you kind of think, Tim? I do like what you were saying with the fourth one being pretty much a simple, simple bat wing shirt yeah. and a skirt. It's like we, we can probably achieve that the fastest. There's not too much special custom costume design yeah. or building yeah. we have to do. Yep. That one we just have to go to the store. <laughs> Would that be called like a towel skirt? It almost looks like you just take a towel and just... <laughs> That's what it looks like. I don't know. Mm. Not really. You're, you're just be. you're just getting towels. Yeah. You're just getting towels. It's probably yeah. So I'm not. I but it also could just be I any skirt. I get where. And yeah. do the a more simple of a fade or gradient. And we could probably tie dye that. We yeah. or dye that. Not tie dye, but dye. Due to special soaking the fabric and all that. Yeah. Lizzie, this is on to Lizzie. What a what a fun. We should probably kind of put these together a little bit. What do you think? Kind of see these a little side All by right, here side. Here we go. I got it right there. You got it, but yeah. I've got to get it. Do it. Okay, a I really little side by HDMI side. Cord for myself. Yeah, you want to? I mean, we could, and then I could just switch it right here. Yeah, that would be fine. But really good. I love the I love the contrast. I mean, th they've both got red in them. Um, you've got Lizzie primarily a darker black. Um, Doctor Scovey primarily white. I mean, this is this is these are going to look great together. One of the funny things is like Lizzie has a very flamboyant personality. So like typically you dress them like more of a wider oh, bright yeah. color and yeah flashy and then dr scoby is a little bit i don't know if serious but would almost though darker would work for it but i think these colors work perfect because you gotta tie it to the actual ducks and dr scoby is actually the wider and bright and lizzie is the darker color no scheme. you look at you look at what um 
Susie has has created here. And I would look, I could look at that and just there's some personality. There's a little bit of more um, playfulness in there. Maybe uh, yeah, Lizzie's sure. a little, like probably more dressed up, but also kind of like taking things a little bit more kind of play. Like, I mean, the, the hairstyle, I think we could... We like she could, has a hairstyle diff every single... Like she's just I constantly think, well, changing more it. More curls. I mean, we're thinking curls here. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of curls in the, in the hair. Uh, bows rather than, rather than pin, that, rather than barrettes. Yeah, yeah. So you've got like a like a a bow is kind of a little bit more light and playful. A beret is a little bit more serious. So yeah. I think I think it actually. No, I think it's good. And they're they're oh, for sure. they're very good. They're very good. Um, so our first Lizzie, I can talk. Let me see if I can explain what we've got here. Red bow. It pulled back in a ponytail with some um, bangs in the front and kind of some hair falling around the the side of the the face. A shirt with a with a collar, but a, and a um, it's not a bow tie, but it's like a a scarf. But what would you call? How would you call the a necktie? The bow? A necktie. A necktie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter Pan collar is what we've got. And I should... So Peter Pan collar. I don't know what distinguishes the Peter Pan. It's more... It's a little oh, bit more rounded. a little rounded bit rounded and... Like the peaked collar. Okay. The, the tips yeah, the are... Tips are the tips are rounded. And then she's got a, um, a shawl or uh, some patchwork... Um, slouchy uh, I can, can say it in my mind but cardinan card, 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 see this is like I need to learn my fashion I don't <laughs> cardovan I can see it but what? how do you pronounce it card cardigan 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 that sounds right sounds right just kind of I have to take it a little slow Go back to first grade. Uh, C card. Uh, feather details. That I like this. I mean, so it's a very it's a brown um, cardigan, and then black pants that are like knickers, I guess, because they. Would you call those knickers? I don't know if it was a guy. That's all I know, but. A guy would be knickers. Yeah. But maybe so. as far as I know. I'm very as far as we know, they're they're knicker nickels. Knickers. There's a reason that we're not designing these fashion things, because I don't know anything. About yeah, fashion. we're just gonna try and we'll just go shopping and figure out oh, God, I think this We'll is just show the people at the at the store <laughs> of our professions be like, I have a picture of this. I just need something that looks like this. And they're like, Oh yeah, that's a cardigan and then they just yeah. go get it. It's yeah. Like, And then the the second outfit kind of has a throwback to the 30s, maybe. I would say this is maybe like 30-ish, where um, very short um, hair that's, that's pushed up and a neck ribbon with a nice jewel in the front uh, at the, at the uh, collar. Like, just above the, well, yeah, just above the collar. And this beautiful lace shawl. Would you call that a shawl? Maybe I should look at some details. Neck. Um, and then the skirt that, it, it, it looks like the layers. It's like a layers of... Um, Veil material. What do you call the veil material? Like transparent, the transparent things, but but cut in such a way that's that is and layered as if it's feathers. Just um, a whole skirt made out of out of beautiful feathers. 
and stockings that are have uh, have pattern i think maybe that would just be kind of like painted on there potentially i don't know you might be able to and some beautiful little shoes and then the the third outfit is a little bit more adventurous um so i would like pair that with the that first yeah um one if they were going on a on an an outdoor adventure um lizzie's got this beautiful red scarf um a, a big coat like a raincoat and that has a tail for that represents again a uh, duck it's kind of like the mm-hmm. they always have these coats they're, they're having these coats that the piano performers have they always like flip their tail of the coat out to sit down on the yeah you have to f- <laughs> yeah. flip it out yes exactly the, the tail tail coat um, and I, I love the whole use. These color pattern palettes are are perfect. I think we've got again this outfit has tan socks with some high cut boots, short boots. So 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 Susie the silky says Ritz sh- short boots. These are the short boots, and I, and I was like, these are the high cut boots. <laughs> what do you think? Are they sure? They, they they do feel kind of high, but maybe high means up to the knee. Yeah, that's what the high. The is. high means up to the knee. So these ones are just They're like short. The boots you normally these wear. would be like medium. They're a little bit higher than that. Yeah. Those are normal boots. And the last the last one it looks as if she is going to the beach. That would be my beach outfit. <laughs> Um, but more like the so uh, poofy uh, shoulders. Is that would you? Is that would be poofy shoulders? Puff sleeves with scalloped pattern. Puffed yeah, that's sleeves. what I would say. Poofy shoulders, and I should just read just it. Puffs, it says, but puff, puff, puff sleeves. sleeves is what it is. Puff called. sleeves, and the scallop pa- pattern is kind of like upside down rainbows. But if they were in the sepia tone, so they're just all. <laughs> brown like a brown rainbow and then some loose green shorts i love it and again we've got the ribbon in the hair and a fancy red necklace perfect with some black socks that go up to the calf so those would be like calf height socks with some uh, buckled shoes so what you'd call them buckled shoes yep Good old buckled brown shoes. Buckled brown. So again, I think these are perfect. We're gonna we're gonna fly with them. I don't. We're gonna go with them. I don't know that there's um, much that we would change. Oh, one one thing that we've got here that I've noticed that I haven't explained to you is that Lizzie has black hair but with white highlights. So we're gonna have to figure that out because I think it's gorgeous and. It kind of plays to that that more uh, yeah. playful character rather than as being. So like I wonder so... if we'll just have our actor just dye their hair. And... and Susie the Silky corrects us and says that they are Mary Jane shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of that before. Mary Jane shoes. You've heard like of that only once before. In my life. <laughs> Just <But>. now. <laughs> oh, really? Well, then yeah. you've heard about it one more time than I have. <laughs> Would I have been able to recall that? No. <laughs> but yeah, that type of shoe. I see. Three m- reminds you of Doctor Who. That's a good. That does. That does. Just needs a fancy, like multi-purpose pen <laughs> right yeah mm-hmm. they won't be stealing so there are clips way. of hair pieces you can use all right so we need to find those clips for the highlights all right that that might be um yeah, yeah i've seen people highlight their hair with those yeah yeah i'm sure the the actor that we we find will appreciate that yeah we might have to go with a wig what if they don't even have naturally black yeah that's what i was gonna say or black and curly it's like yeah we might have to just find wigs we probably should anyways because one thing i mean nice wigs are expensive nice wigs are yeah 
Well, it might be. Just start with some not nice wigs. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think we need a wig at least that you can style, and those yeah. are probably those are pricey. A nice wig that yeah. you can that you can change the style on. Yeah. Do you use like a, an iron on them? I don't remember. I know some are made with real hair, but I'm pretty sure there's others that are some synthetic thing. But there's still, can... it is. Hair is pricey if in animation and in real life. It's like one of it is, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Animate hair. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh yes, I like that. The coop's bigger on the inside. You just you get the doc, Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. The chickens would la love that this winter. They would be like, <laughs> oh. Stay inside all the time. They would just, yes. But yeah, so yeah. Tim's right about the wigs. Even cheap ones are at like $30. Yeah. Yeah. Most hair is stylable and washable. All right. TARDIS coop. That's what we need. I just know I bought a wig that was coop. like $20 and definitely wouldn't want to be using that one. Yeah, that one, I mean... It's good for what I got it for, well, but even... Yeah, you got it for... To be an orc. An, an orc. So, I mean, their like hair I is as if... It's messy and... You can't, and you can't even do anything with that. That thing was yeah. just a... I mean, a mop looks better. Yeah. You just take and buy a mop, and you're like, whoa, that's better. <laughs> yeah. But, crazy. Yeah. And then, like, even getting it to look good on this, the makeup work to match it all. It's a realm I'm not experienced in, but it'll be cool to experience it and learn. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's good. I mean, you guys are helping us a ton. We really appreciate that. We're we're the first to admit that we're total amateurs at this, but it feels fun, and it's a it's going to be good. I know it's gonna it's gonna yeah. turn out turn out well. Um, we and did kind of moving on to that amateurness thing. One of the things we've been working with a local high school student, so. And this is what he's come up with for the theme song. And uh, pretty amazing. So do, do, I don't have it on yet. So you tell us. We're not going to be able to hear this, but you are going to be able to hear it. <clears throat> and so you are you going to... The theme song. I just, I'm going to... Because it doesn't give me, for some reason, It doesn't even... Well, I can tell so you when. I can, I can tell you when it goes quiet. Here. Wait, What? Sure. Oh, he has to download it. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be the, the we. There's two versions that they've given, kind of like a a theme song and a like one that's one minute, and one that's thirty like ten seconds. Is that right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's well, it's like thirty seconds and ten seconds. Okay. So now it should be playing. Oh, it may have. No, it's not playing. Oh, I, it's because I have my... You have to do HDMI. There we go. Oh, there we now go. it's playing. So let me restart from the very beginning. All right, we'll be quiet. not very loud. Well, it's as loud as I can make it. <sighs> All right. Yeah, that one was not very loud. Do you want to try to do the, do the next one then? This is the short one. Dr. Scovey Jingle. Jingle.
Yeah, I wonder why that wasn't very loud. Because we, we tested it and it was a lot louder. It was a lot louder. So, anyways. There we go. This is a... So, this is first draft. I think it's got... Um, it's got a lot of uh, good components to it. A little bit, like, mysterious. Uh, some... Yeah. Um, it has a jazz feel to it, like well, that. Definitely jazz and um, classic Pink Panther feel. <laughs> that yeah. was what I was trying to think. So very mysterious sounding. That's perfect. That's what we're going for. I kind of do think that the the beginning with just it it needs to kind of come in a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, full and th there's some fullness that's that's lacking at the beginning just because it comes in with just some drums some bass and it just takes a little long time to get to get somewhere so but we're first draft um definitely the 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 um he's he's got a talent and he's excited he's been sure, he's been yeah. excited to to work with us on it and the idea is that we will um when he so this is all just done from his like synth or computer uh garage band probably yeah, basically. <laughs> and then um so when we finalize the theme we will go to the high school and and let the jazz band we'll record the jazz band doing it so we'll have actual light, real instruments playing. Yes, versus real, the, real instruments. And all they, know. they're like, yeah, you can, you can do that. We just, uh, just give us a donation or something. Yeah. So we'll donate something to the, um, to the jazz band. T or the, I guess the, yeah, it the, is the, the, the jazz team. band. The jazz well, band, just the jazz band. Yeah. So that will be, that's fun. It's fun. Yeah. So we've got more feedback. I've got to compose, co like, uh, take a good listen to it and get some feedback. Yep. And then we'll be able to share with you again, share some more stuff with you. Yep. It's really cool just that pull, figuring out and learning and experiencing how much goes into movie making. It's like I can see why there's the credits in movies are just so long <laughs> so, because... Yeah. There's already been a lot of people that put different ideas into making this so far, and it's like not even fully done. Well, yeah, we're just it's yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just still a really all in pre -production. small production, and it's, it's small, very small. Yeah, yes, it is. All right. So the next thing I want to show you is. This is the this is the Dr. Scovey app, and this is actually this is running locally on my um, computer. It's it's using React JS, and get to the home page. So this will eventually be on like drscovey.com. And I, I we've been thinking, do I? release an app app do we make it as an, an app you download versus a website i'm kind of like well maybe we just do the web first it does feel official when you have like an official i app, know but, and, and also and, everyone has an app now so. well but it's it's not it's not that hard to get to yeah. the app as well it's like we have uh, the same code can be used so we'll see but let's just step this through as a, as as just the whole website. So we log in, and that's using my Twitch login. I guess let me kind of expand this out a little bit so we get the. I mean, we have the it's it's reactive, so you've got a mobile version. This is what it would look like on your mobile. This is what it looks like, um, on this the, the screen desktop. the desktop. And we're like, oh, why is the cat sad? Hmm, which which video? Let's let's solve the the library video. You can watch the video. Um, well, hopefully you came just from the video, so you're like, okay, I know, I need to yeah. do number three. You're like, 
Yeah, that's the Like, idea. I know that's who the... it is. I gotta now go get my feed tokens. Yep. Yeah. So we, we decide, okay, um, I think the librarian is just too absent-minded that doesn't know where, uh, what, what she's doing and, and is, the books are still there, but they're not, I don't know. Yeah. Why are the books at the library missing? Because the librarian, <laughs> I'm going to blame the librarian. <laughs> Let's submit that. And then Dr. Scovey's like, yep. I mean, this is what you get no matter what you... Uh, <laughs> She's just like, thank She's you. Like, thank you for your answer. <laughs> and then... Oh, did you want to see the sad kitty? We should, we should go to the sad kitty. What do we say on the sad kitty? Let's go back. Why is the cat sad? Should we solve that? Let's solve that one. His ball of yarn fell into the pool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would be sad. Um, his owner gave him Fruit Loops in place of regular cat food. Oh, that would make Probably. Sad. <laughs> if I was a cat. His girlfriend is on the holiday without him. Okay, what do we do? Which one do we do? What do you think? Uh, I think his, his absent-minded... You're always going absent-minded. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What's with you and these? The yarn. Okay, we'll go. We'll go with Emmy's. Emmy's voice. The yarn. All right, we'll submit the yarn. Yay! Thank you for your answer. And then we don't go anywhere else but the solution video on here because we're. You're, the next thing you should do is click, probably does it click. Take you link to YouTube. Yeah, it takes you. It takes you Migration to YouTube. Is um, oh, so that's why the cat's sad is because the duck's not really. <laughs> ducks not really. No. No, <laughs> he, no really. he has no ducks friends anymore. <laughs> no. But then you'll go watch the solution and then you'll just come back and you can go to feed the ducks. So from here you get, um, you've got your little machine. We can click to open up our bag and um, we don't, the programmer, I, I had to click that a second time to get the coin. But then the idea, I think you just, once you open it, the coin should be there. You don't have to click it a second time. That That's is, probably fair. You're not going to, you're not going to understand it. And then you can grab the coin, drag it over to Are you going to have a visual like feed. it actually moving with your finger? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The, it'll, it, it's just that we're, okay. this is still like yeah. mid programming. Even yeah. like things are just totally messed up. Like if the mobile <laughs> view on this page is just completely a disaster. So don't, this is like. Yeah, it's still working. <laughs> a construction zone. Yeah. But you get your, your, um, your history and then you can click this to go to the live stream. But, and then you can go back to solve mysteries. So there's. A lot of progress. Coming a lot of progress coming on. So we are. I'm. I'm kind of thinking, and maybe, maybe. Um, so the app may be done before we have our first video, our first Doctor Scoby video, probably. Right? Am maybe. I working faster than you? I think that the I could. I'm hoping that we can have it filmed within the next month. That's and I can okay. see that happening. So. Then maybe they'll happen together. Yeah. Because I think with it, I mean, we're it's, getting you're about. It's close. like this: the uh, website's a month out, and then I think possibly the video is about a month out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So look for it in, a, in a, for, for, four more of these live streams. That's and the we, hope. And we and we have it, but we, we haven't even we haven't even. Though we have finished our first script, so we can get that out to some people too. Yeah, um, I'm, I should probably we'll, start doing casting sooner than later now. Yeah, yeah, the casting is a big one. I'll wrap yeah. up the script within this week and send out casting forms and do auditions within the week after that, and then from there it's also be. And then probably the next week is probably props and costumes, so it might be like. I say within the next month, but it might be like five weeks or something. five weeks. Okay, so I may I may okay. have my part done sooner. 
so and, it's only and, it's only and yes, I gotta fluffy take care and of juicy. So many other stuff. <laughs> it does feed. That's the you put it in the coin machine, and then it feeds the ducks. And best part of the whole. Thing. Thing. That's the best thing. Yep. yep. You're gonna feed the ducks. That's yep. what it's all about. So, um, and the ducks and Bill, Bill like, mostly, <laughs> Bill mostly. I can't let. So, but what I was thinking is that we could, we could do a, like, like there's, there's potentially like solve mysteries or solve the answer of things that don't require the video. Like, oh, I see. What's the definition of this giant super califragilisticexpialidocious? <laughs> see, I don't even know I, what it means. I don't think it, it's. It, yes, it means itself. It means super yeah. califragilis, right? Yeah. So, and that word might be copyrighted by like. No, I, I don't think it. <laughs> I don't think it's copyrighted. But we'll find some good words that, and then give like three definitions and. Yeah, so it's kind of you like can pick, we can you get can pick the app one. going. So if the, it, that's probably good. Also, the idea is that you, right now, the way I'm thinking it is that no matter what your answer, you get one token. But then if you get it right, you get three. And you don't have to tell anyone this, but I really don't care if you like go cheat and <laughs> figure it out first and get the three every time. I don't care, but don't tell anyone. Yes, Professor Layton puzzles. We could do, we could just, we could just, we, we should just do, um, take the Professor Layton puzzles and just, and bring those in and, and, um, just change a few words to make it so. It's well, no, they just take the, lift the puzzles and yeah. you, if you yeah. know the answer, you have to go play the Professor Layton oh, games there you go. to solve the puzzles. We just ask you, well, yeah, uh, in in this scene, chapter this scene. one of, <laughs> but they but they have a, they have a lot of different layers of puzzles. The Professor Layton, you've got the overall story that you're trying to solve, yeah, and then every once in a while that you get these opportunities, just like random puzzles, like like one puzzle was there's a clock sitting on the table. Um, how many times do you have to? It's it's saying it's like three p.m. How many times do you need to touch the clock in order to get it to say midnight? So it'd be like you just press the button and then I I don't know what time sort of clock this is, but it's it's a manual clock. It's one that you have knobs and such and a bell and, and, and so it's like if you have a knob, you just have to spin it. Yeah, yeah, or or touch or or you can move the knee the the. the oh, handles. it's like you can actually move the hand, so so it's an open clock. So you just click it and then move yeah, it to the twelve. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Did you want to give it an answer? I'll just say one then. You have to say one. You have to touch it once. Yep. You just touch it, move it, <clears throat> let go. All right, chat. Is he right? Is he correct? Is he correct? Let's see. It's a lot of sort of clocks because like, to get my. Watch Susie says she thinks so. Moss says yes. They all agree with you. But see, if it's like with a your logic. voice re command one like Siri, you could just say, hey, change my change it to this time. So that would be zero times. But I'm going to assume it's not in that digital of advanced age. Because right. Professor Layton looks a little bit. The old. correct answer, unfortunately, you are wrong. What? The correct answer is zero. You can just wait. Till midnight. Wow. Well, see, they are in the future. <laughs> they can the... use say zero, touch zero times. That's the time. that's the type of puzzles uh, that like that, that Professor Lane has. So that's <laughs> tricky. <laughs> they are tricky. They're like tricky. That was like a good it. one. So we should. And I don't. I don't think there's anything like. Those are just like riddles. Yeah. I mean, off the that, that we could we could use we could do that. We could just use the. You call. have been bamboozled. <laughs> sure True, have. you have. You definitely have. So, ah. Uh, well, I think that wraps up everything we have. We covered up all all yeah. the stuff on our list plus a lot more. So. 
We thank you everyone for being here and participating in this, giving us your ideas, helping us. We sure appreciate it. And you have a great day. And you too. 